Watching some scary TikToks. Now I know several YouTubers have done reactions um, to scary TikToks and today we're gonna do the same because why Kaya? Uh, because I'm a massive pussy when it comes to scary shit. Okay, I just recently got into metal. That's like the hardest thing I've gotten into. Like, honestly, I don't do scary movies. I don't do spooky shit. I don't do... I don't do it. I don't do it, okay? I'm very receptive to, like, energy in certain places. And I get spooked easily. I get nightmares. I'm scared of the dark the whole nine. <laughs> My office door is open and I'm, like, spooked. <laughs> So I'm really going to be putting myself into the ringer today, uh, tonight. I even specifically waited until like the sun went down. It's currently 8 p.m. Okay. Sun's down, you know, I'm like going to film this, edit a little bit and then go to bed. So I'm probably not going to get much sleep tonight if I'm being honest, but we're going to watch some scary TikToks. Hopefully they're good. You know, if you're new here. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, that like button, share this video with a friend. If you love TikToks, if you love scary shit on this channel, we talk about a variety of different things from uh, interesting weird shit, some of my life stories, and uh, we do some music reviews and reactions and things like that. I have a lot in store for this channel, bestie, okay? So, you know, subscribe if you want to, you don't have to. But do like this video if you like my reaction today. Let me know down in the comments anything else that you want me to react to, whether it be a metal band or a weird artist, some weird video on YouTube, a compilation of videos, or even some sort of like weird story or, I don't know, mystery type thing. I kind of want to incorporate more of that stuff onto the channel. So I would love to hear from y'all if you have any suggestions. Um, and yeah, if you see a bunch of dog hair on this jacket too, trust me girl, I've tried doing the whole like rolly thing. It don't work. It don't work. Oh God. Do I want? No, we're not going to have Coda here. Okay. We're just going to do what we got to do. Oh God. Let me just make sure this volume is down. I'm so nervous. Y'all don't understand, okay? Uh-uh, bestie. That's why I don't go on cruises. Oh my god, why are you filming, dude? Get the fuck off the boat! Get the fuck off the boat. That's all you have to do. Oh god. What was it? What? Was there something in there? Wait, no. Oh god. Oh god! No! Paranormal on TikTok. Wait. I'm so sweating already. Hold on. Was there something down here? Oh god. You know what? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I'm so nervous already. What? 
What is that? That's not anything, is it? Oh, spooky. What's that? Ew. Whoa. What's wrong with these people's eyes? Oh. Hi, no. I'm Amanda, no. and I sleep with ghosts. Wait, what? The spirits are in at the mm. Shanley Hotel in New York. I walk through no. the haunted hallways to room five. No. It's known as the serial. No. Allegedly, the room above this one is where Joe, a hitman for the Irish Mafia, liked to stay. Apparently, he killed over a hundred people. There is no longer a bed in that room, so he's known to sink down through the ceiling into this one and visit guests. No. Naturally, I decided to sleep here. It was Naturally. Crazy. I kept feeling like I was being watched. Naturally, it was... No. Ugh. Ugh. Deep breaths, Kaya. Deep breaths. Ah! Ah! I felt the need to whisper, please just let me sleep for a few hours. Uh. I'm sweating. Okay. I felt the need to whisper, please just let me sleep for a few hours. And I did. But then I was woken up at 5 a.m. by a loud crash. Oh, crash. No one else in the hotel heard this, and they were all still awake investigating. Would you stay here by yourself? No. Or rather, with Joe? So we're gonna just start here. Videos. Wait, what was this? Hold on. Videos that got deleted for being too disturbing. Ooh. Woman goes psycho while doing makeup. What happened? She didn't go psycho, she just stopped and stared. I'll keep checking behind me. She didn't go psycho, she was just staring. She definitely looked like she like malfunctioned though. Maybe she's like a robot. The one with the president with like not presidents, but the one with Hillary Clinton and her, like, funky eyes and the lizard shit. I'm only two minutes and 40 seconds in this. Poltergeist opens gate. No! Poltergeist does not open gate. No, that has to be remote controlled. There has to be a remote control. Actual footage of inside the red room at the Amityville house. I think my lights just flickered. I'm nervous. I feel like I want my dog. Actual footage of inside the red room of the Amityville. Oh God. Who was murdered with the rest of her family here in 1974. This is I'm gonna show you is the mysterious red room that's so noted for in the book. This door, which they say was never here, was here, is here, always will be here, I suppose. This is the red room. Nothing more than a storage area where Allison and her brothers and I used to keep toys. This red. Yeah, you know, there's never any feeling of spirit presence or ghost or any sort of thing like that. It's just a play area. We used to keep toys. <sighs> Caught at the famous Winchester. Oh, they got a little ghost thing. That was a little... Yeah, there you go. That's something. What caused that glass to shatter like that? Whoa! Whoa, did you see that? That's like a glass sliding door. Whoa! Why did that shatter like that? 
No. No, I can't watch something in all light. Oh! No, I can't watch it if it's night vision. I'm getting Koda. Hold on. Two thousand years later. She's very upset with me because because I woke her. I woke her up. She's also gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> if you haven't seen. And she's so fucking heavy, but I'm still gonna hold her, okay? No. No. Wow, what was that? No. No, 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 I don't want to see that. <laughs> no! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared, I don't know what's happening in this video. I'm hiding behind Coda. She has no idea what's going on. No, 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 I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Ah! No! Come on, I'm so terrified. Wow, what is that? I don't. I don't know what's happening. God, Coda, your breath is fucking awful. Oh my god, your breath is so bad. Here. Is there really a creature living in this tunnel in Poland? A group of investigators believe they may have caught something. There's not a creature down there, is, the is there? Coda's at my feet now. What's in the tunnel? Watch again as they catch a glimpse of something further in the tunnels. Whoa, what is that? This is footage taken thing. in 2017 from a security camera at the Hernandez family home. As you can see, Mr. Hernandez walks over to the monitor after seeing something weird on his front drive. He watched as a terrifying figure passed the house and simply disappeared. Here's the footage the security camera captured. The figure is transparent, it seems to float along the road and then simply disappear. So did they capture a ghost Ooh. on camera? No, it's gotta be just a person. Whoa! That cat just fucking walked on water, is that a dog? Whoa! How did they do that? Wait, hold on. How did he do that? That is a dog, right? Everybody there is stunned. What is this? Bro really kicked it. What is that? What was that? Wait, what was that? I'm confused. What was that? Is that a doll? I keep checking. If you keep seeing me look back there, I keep checking this office door. I got a coda now on my feet. She's not very happy with me, but I am much happier that she's with me. Was that a doll that was moving? Okay, so those of you who have been following me for a while know that I grew up in a haunted house, which my mom still lives in and my little brother still lives in. <laughs> so this is a text I get from my little brother yesterday. Oh, heck no, the door just opened by itself. And look at the door, like, cracked open. The doorknob turned and it got pushed open. So I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, holy spirit, activate. <laughs> he's like, there's no one in the house, just me. And I'm like, where's mom and your dad? And they're next door at my aunt's house. And I was like, you better get your ass over there. <laughs> but then, but then he says. It I'm just making sure there's no noise. 
I'm telling y'all, I'm spooked to shit. Holy shit. It just happened. Why do I see a face where the head of the raincoat is? And this is all I responded because I didn't want to entertain oh, him. God. I didn't want to continue to have this conversation. We know this place is haunted. I don't want to look at this picture, but but I do. Of course I do. <laughs> so I go to the picture and I zoom in on top of the raincoat and I hate myself. I hate myself because I actually see a fucking face right there. Please tell me you guys see it. So my little brother's like, or am I crazy? Am I just being paranoid? And I'm like, fuck, dude, I see it because I, see I don't see it. And an eye, and that's just wait, I don't see it. It's so dark. Hold on. I'm gonna turn off one of my lights. Okay. We're gonna be spooky here for a second because I want to see. Okay. I'm going to turn off my studio lights to see this face, okay? Hold on. No, I still can't see it, bestie. No, bestie, I don't see nothing. Bestie, there ain't a face there, okay? That's just shadow, okay? You making me turn off and waddle and fucking go over here and turn my damn lights back on. I don't see no face. Paranoid. What? Like, no, you're fine, Bestie. Fuck, you're fine. I see it because I see you're a fucking fine. nose and an eye. And that's just because I, like, briefly, briefly fucking looked at the picture. And, of course, I had to show it to Ben. And then Ben's like, um, why do I see horns? <laughs> he saw oh, horns. Let me, let me take a good look. And I do see horns. But not only do I see horns, but I see spiky, like, teeth. I, let me show you. I just want to show you guys what I see. And I do a shit job at drawing, but I'm going to draw out what I see. She's drawing what she sees. I see an eye. I see spiky teeth. And I see fucking horns. Tell me I'm wrong. But, like, how do we all see this? Do you guys see it? Am I tripping? Are we crazy? This place is definitely haunted, but I've never seen anything like that. So I'm like, fuck that. Don't entertain it. And my brother's like, I'm entertaining. That's the nicest thing anyone has said to me. And I'm like, no, motherfucker. And he's like, I'm kidding. I know. And I'm like, don't play with me. But my little brother's fucking fearless. And that scares me because it's like, what if they think that's a challenge? You know what I mean? He's over there like, hey there, demons. It's me. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, boy. Onesies, I'm not drawing anything on it, but tell me what you guys see. Do you guys see what I see? Please leave I don't see anything. Crazy, Baby girl, you're fine. You're fine. I need fucking water. Okay? I need water. Water. Mmm. 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 Yes, queen. Is there something on my shoe that you like? Hmm? <sighs> okay. How it feels turning off the lights at night? Yep. Yep, absolutely. No! So, while waiting for someone to come. He plays a Wii with a Ouija board by himself. And it looks like he must have summoned. What was that? Did you yawn? Coda's like, what? Oh my god. Playing with a Ouija board by himself. Are you there? This looks acted though. <laughs> straight towards him so he slams the door out of reflex imagine you have to slam the door to quickly stop an entity from charging into your room Ugh, makes me shiver just thinking about it and just moments after he gets back into bed thinking it's all over when things begin to get a little worse what you know Ugh. holy shit how do we know that was like something though? How do we know? Don't ever play with Ouija boards, okay? No, just don't do it. What? What? 
It's not She's over. Not late. Kevin's not home from work yet. No, things don't get more strange, do they? I don't want to watch. Why would you get in bed after that, dude? I would have shit my pants. Then I would have been like, yo, I'm turning all the lights on. And I get in bed and I put on fucking like Hannah Montana or some shit that's like from my childhood that's happy. And then I sleep with the lights on. All night. Okay? Okay. Oh, God. What else happens? What the hell? Oh, my God. What the fucking... It wants to come in. No. <gasps> oh! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. begins to rattle and as he goes to investigate he f oh I'm so spooked I'm just like afraid that there's like noises happening while I'm watching this, you know? Ugh, my god, why did I agree to do this? I don't know, I put myself through this. I didn't nobody else's fault. Stop yawning. <laughs> Finds multiple doors opening and closing on their own. And even finds them all open at once during one point. His not... power is out. His power went out. Dude. People seem to think this one is a hoax simply because the dog doesn't react much. Although this is often true, I do think- That is true. His dog doesn't seem very, like, responsive. Which makes me think that, like, I don't know. I feel like if the owner is freaking out, the power is going out, you have somebody rattling the door, and like, I'm surprised that the dog didn't bark. Like, dude, I'm telling you, if I had that happen in my house, I wouldn't get my dogs to shut up, okay? Like, ain't nobody gonna be rattling my door to my room, and my dogs ain't gonna be barking, okay? Especially if I'm freaking out, the power's out, and then all the doors start moving and your dog's just chilling there like y'all you need to get a different dog okay because he ain't gonna do shit if you have somebody come and break into your house okay okay no no i'm not no this is not that can't be real these dudes sleeping with the store opening. I just keep pausing it because I'm afraid. There's no way. He takes the friend. Oh my god, he's lifting him. Whoa. Whoa. He got lifted though. He like got full on lifted. Holy shit. What, Cody? I would hold you, but you're like 50 pounds now. She didn't like seem to grow that much, but she's big now. Notice that there's someone in the back. Okay, they're on a ride. But a while later, the person isn't there. Whoa, the person just disappeared. That's false. Scaring my neighbors with the creepiest Russian lullaby. Part two. Okay, but like, this is actually kind of cool. This like Russian lullaby thing. First of all, this woman, pretty as shit. Okay? Pretty as shit. 
Uh, her curls, I'd want those any day of the week, okay? You look great. Uh, second, her voice, beautiful. And I think she's like banging that, look at me, I love music so much that I'm just like, she's banging that, banging that railing. That was me. That wasn't Coda. Wow, girl. Coda, no, you can't abandon me. Come here. You can't abandon me, okay? We're almost done. Can you sit? Thank you very much, lady. Can you lay down? No. You want to pick up? Do you want to be picked up, Missy Man, Mrs. Man, Man, my little baby Coda? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's watch this Russian lady. He's already made his way into the house. Pans to a dead fly. Doesn't seem like you like scared your your neighbors that much. Okay. She's so heavy I have to like balance her on my leg. This is a fucking workout. Okay. Here's a second one because I came prepared in case the other one wasn't super scary. Which there were some there were some scary ones on there. Oh my god, go down yourself. No, don't move. <laughs> Walk down your stairs with the inverted filter. I'm going to show y'all because my legs look backwards as heck. All right, so this is with inverted off. Bro, this is inverted on. This is the same direction. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Staircase is leading me to the... Oh, I don't even know how to record this. Whoa, Bro, what was that? I can't do this. Down by the bay where the watermelon rocks. No. She couldn't open her eyes. No. So we're starting to get real sick of our house being haunted. I'm oh, yep, dog. Because every day stuff keeps happening like this. Nope. And like this. And it's getting real frustrating. We have a priest scheduled to come next Tuesday. But just last night when I was filming a TikTok, this happened. Whoa! I'm sick of this. Like part seven. That's no. There's no way. Cody, you're too heavy. Something very creepy and scary happened to me the oh other God. day, and I'm just now getting the guts to say it. Are you shaking yourself? Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Do you want to be picked up again? What, you want to be picked up again? You like being a mama's arm? No. Oh, you're so fucking heavy. Thank you for the kisses. Yes. Thank you for the kisses. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna lick off all of mommy's foundation if you keep doing it. Your breath is so stinky. It's so bad. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cody Bean. Oh, please don't yawn at my face. Oh. Oh god, it smells so fucking bad. What are you offended? <laughs> She's offended. Are you offended? Yeah, are you offended? I'm so here, let's watch. So I think you just farted too. Is four years old, came up to me and asked me if she could look through my pictures on my phone. And I let her. So she was scrolling through my phone, like specifically, and she clicked on a picture of my brother and she was like what happened to him? Why is he dead? And I'm like, excuse me? She was like, yeah, why is, why is he dead? What happened? Mind you, I have not told any of my students that my brother passed away. Uh, it's a very Whoa. sensitive topic for me. I don't like talking about it. So the fact that she knew that, it literally sent chills. Whoa. Like, it was so creepy. No. Oh my god, what CGI you have. Wow, that's cool. Oh, God, no. No. Oh. Yeah, 
something traumatic happened that changed my life, check. I don't see anything. I'm afraid. There's nothing. It's a baby. What happened? Nothing. That's not real. That's not real. Nope. I'm not here for it. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it, Cody. So I'm here at the Chuck E. Cheese where the five kids went missing, and do you notice something? No. Those are handprints. Those are handprints. That's on not the real. There's no I way. That can't be real. I'm more concerned about the thing under the bed. Come here. Come here. You're fine. You are covering this jacket in so much hair, my sweet love. Come here. Can you lay down? Don't be on the floor, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at all that hair. I am covered in it, bestie. I know. It's because I love you so much. Okay. The abandoned mine footage no one can explain. A mine explorer found this entrance to an abandoned mine and decided to go have a look around. He decides to film his experience and upload it to his YouTube channel where he had uploaded hundreds of other videos of him exploring mines, but he never once references the paranormal or ghosts or anything like that until this video. As soon as he steps foot inside, he tells the camera that he has a really uneasy feeling about being there and wonders if he should even keep going, but he does. Everything seems pretty normal until he gets to a section in the mine where there's a bunch of chains hanging down from the ceiling. He hears something in the back of the tunnel, so he pulls his flashlight out and he shines it towards the back, and he sees a chain swinging, and it shouldn't be, because there's no draft and he's all alone. And you can tell he's scared by the way he starts talking. Although he's totally freaked out, he wants to know wow. what's causing the chain to swing, so he goes farther and farther into the mine until he hears something. People I don't. whispering in every direction. He gets totally spooked and runs out. If you don't want to sleep tonight, and we can watch hear what video. sounds like a whisper as he investigates. Whisper grows in intensity until he decides it's time to go. Oh my God! What was that face? Talk transition. It's like a fucking person walking by really fucking fast. No. That's I'm turning the sound off. Basically. I am the bitch. Basically. I am. My Whoa. Getting darker. I need to turn. Off. What is that? person creepy as shit okay graphic content we're just kind of fast forwarding through these because i think there's some stupid ones no i'm not listening to your fucking scary ass shit i'll watch it what's she doing what's she doing Whoa, she like lost all ability to use her body. What happened? Wait, what happened? Hold on. Is there sound? Whoa. Ugh. All right. All right. And we found this hole with a gate. Dude, there's a hole with a gate? What the f Dude, it is so slippery. What is that noise? Oh my god, dude. What? You're just in a cave, bestie. A cave? Whoa! Not a cave. That is some freak shit. That is like some sacrificial area in a cave. That has to be... No, that's just there. That is just there. And you knew it was there. Oh my god. I am afraid Dude, it's going to be a jump scare. Don't, I don't know what's... I have one of Coda's hair in my eyeball. Don't... don't go down there. No. You don't have to go see. This is like a scary movie. All you have Yo. to do is just not do it. Dude, what? Go, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Quick, 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 quick. What's he running back from? 
Oh, please. And then you cut it off. Oh, God. Coda, come here. Don't leave me. Come here. She's like, Mom, I want to go and fucking lay down somewhere else. I started recording because this random guy followed us to a dead end. We waited until there was room so he wouldn't jump in front of the car and he pulled out a so knife. Jesus. Jesus. This dude's got a knife and he followed them. He's screaming paradise. Paradise something. Oh, she's in such distress. We tried to drive off and saw another guy not far behind and pull out a gun and point it towards us. No. Oh my god, I'd be terrified too. Dude, no. You had some dude follow you in a dead end with a knife. And then there was another dude with a gun. Mm. Honestly, Coda, do not like the top of my water bottle, okay? Honestly, I'm so spooked that I don't really have any words. I'm like on edge right now. I'm on edge, okay? Okay. I was babysitting a four-year-old girl when I heard her start crying in the middle of the night, so I went to check on her. Uh-uh. No. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. It's not happening. It's not happening, bestie. No. No. I'm, like, about to cry. Honestly. I don't know why. I just got a wave of emotion. This is about to scare the shit out of me, isn't it? Oh, God. Just as I grabbed the door handle... I realized that the cries were being looped. No. No. They were being looped? What is that supposed to mean? If I don't make it out alive. If you don't make it out alive, you can't start your video like that, bestie, okay? You can't. You just can't. Okay? What do you mean? What's wrong? Squatter in my apartment. This is pepper spray, by the way. And. Oh, I thought it was like a, a hair iron. What are those things called? Flat iron? Iron? Hair iron? I don't. I don't straighten my hair. It's so straight already. You have a squatter? Okay, she thinks she has a squatter in her apartment. I fought it for a while because. Some of my stuff has gone missing and my friends roommates haven't taken it and it wasn't anything like valuable it was a sweatshirt and my face wash phone go off two hours ago it wasn't my phone it wasn't my roommate's phone because they're not home i'm the only one here so in conclusion the only possibility is that um Ooh. a different phone went off wasn't hers it wasn't her roommate's phone because her roommate is gone so like this is the vent we think the squatter gets in through and um we can't open this closet that's why we think he lives there and um there's a christmas decoration on the ground that he he or she obviously knocked off when he was coming into the apartment the squatter in a closet that you can't open there's a christmas decoration on the ground in front of it How would he get in? Through the vent? I don't know. She was obviously in distress though. She believes. She believes that story. I have a dog here so lodged in my keyboard. Holy crap. What is this? What are we watching? Okay, so she's dancing. She's watching a video of TikTok. Now we're watching it slow. Wait. 
wait, I'm confused. I'm confused. What is she looking at? I'm confused. What's she looking at? Hold on. We're going to get to the bottom of this mystery. Oh, there we go. There's something right there. Ooh. She had a face. Like, full on. Did you fucking see that? Yo, okay. I'm just saying, there's some weird freaky shit that happens in this world, okay, bestie? And I'm telling you right now, if I was filming a video and I look back and I saw that and I knew for sure in no doubt about it that I was alone, I'd shit my pants and move to, like, Alaska or something. The scariest audio recording you can't unhear. Cooking sounds in her bedroom. So she went out and got an audio recorder and started recording her sleep. For the first month, I don't want to hear it. God dang it. So she went out and got an audio recorder and started recording her sleep. I don't want to hear it. For the it. first month, she doesn't pick up anything other than normal sleeping sounds. And then one morning she gets up and listens to it and she hears herself sleep talking and someone talks back. No, nobody talks back. Nobody talks back. Oh my god. I paused it on the creepiest thing. Why would you put a face there? I didn't even hear the voice because I was so scared of the fucking picture they had. I don't... I don't even need to hear it. No, you're going to Google two words. In 2014, two Dutch college students were staying in Panama when they decided to take their host family's dog out for a walk. The dog returned, but the girls didn't. After 10 weeks without any leads, a local woman turned in a blue backpack that contained the girls' cell phones and their camera. Using their call log, they were able to determine that the girls would attempt to reach emergency services 77 times, all unsuccessful, starting just hours into their trip. It was also determined that five days after those 77 calls, somebody tried unsuccessfully several times to unlock the girls' phones. But the most distressing thing is what was found on the camera. The first set was taken on the day they left and they were totally normal. The second set was taken in the middle of the night over a week after they had left and it showed all their belongings neatly laid out on a rock and it showed one of the girls who appeared to be hurt. They found their remains spread out around the area where the backpack was found and some of their Ooh. bones have been bleached. There is still Can no official cause of death missing? or explanation as to what happened. Okay, you're using Sony. This guy, Mr. Ball, Balin, Balin is kind of cute. He's a, losing a lot of shit of his. Police claim this haunting is true. Listen to the police report. In the early 90s, a teenage girl started to see these shadowy figures that would come into a room at night and crawl all around her room and even grab at her leg. At the same time, her health began to rapidly deteriorate, which ultimately led to her death, which doctors never understood. A few days after her death, her sister woke up to a whistling sound and saw a creature crawling around her room with no face. The same night, her mom was ripped out of bed by someone. The father calls the police, who come over, they search the house, they don't find anything, it's all quiet. As they're about to leave, they hear something. Horrifying screams coming out of the bedroom. They run inside, no one's in there, but there are these huge gashes on the wall that Whoa. were not there before. The police get out of there. In the police report that was filed immediately after this house call, the chief inspector and the three officers that were there that night swear they saw and heard the same things as the family, which means the police officially believed that the house was haunted. Weird. Big gashes on the wall. I don't want to watch any more of this spooky shit. My mother has been dead for years, but last night I was laying in bed and I looked up and my mom was standing in my doorway. She told me to get out of the house right now. I didn't know what to do, so I followed her mother's advice and left to go to my friend's house. This morning I got a call from the police saying there was a horrible accident and that my house had burned down. And if I was in my house at the time, I would no longer be alive. Whoa. Whoa. Creepy shit, dude. Creepy shit. Let me just tell you right now. I'm a little on edge. I'm also covered in dog hair. 
Um, I've never done this before. Oh my god, my jacket's covered in dog hair. Um, I'm on edge. Honestly, I'm a little spooked for real. I definitely did what it needed to do. I'm spooked for real. <laughs> okay, now it's time for me to go to bed, so... I think that is all the scary TikToks I'm going to watch tonight. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like, share with a friend, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Again, let me know down below in the comments if there is anything you would like to see me react to, whether it be music or metal music or random videos, spooky shit, or, uh, you know, some mystery stuff. I'm trying to incorporate that into my channel some more, like I said. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I appreciate you being here and watching it. Um, wow, my stomach is making so much noise. <laughs> I appreciate y'all being here and watching this video. Thank you for spending your time with me, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now.